Hello, my name is Maya Petrova. I'm a medical consultant of Neurosoft company. And today we will use audio smart device to perform tympanometry and the Eustachian tube function test. Tympanometry is a registration of acoustic compliance of conductive system of middle ear, mainly tympanic membrane and a secular chain. Uh, tympanometry is uh, uh, not so sensitive to the acoustic noise level as, uh, for example, other acoustic emission tests, but it's recommended to keep silence in your laboratory. Your patient needs uh, to be relaxed, uh, to stay still during the tympanometry, not to swallow and breathe uh, very deeply during the tympanometry testing. It's not so hard because the registration of tympanometry requires only a few seconds. Uh, before the positioning of the probe into the outer ear canal, we need to perform otoscopy to visually inspect the state of the outer ear canal and tympanic, uh, tympanic membrane and to exclude uh, contraindications to such type of test. During tympanometry acquisition, plus TIMP unit is connected to the audio smart device with the help of special joint. We can put this unit in the holder or if it is more comfortable, we can place it on the patient with the help of a shoulder belt. Before to start working with the device, we need to perform daily calibration. We go to the setup, system preferences, Team daily calibration. Device asks us to position the probe into the testing cavity, test cavity inserting in the holder, and press start. The calibration has successfully finished, and we go to the main menu. Before tympanometry acquisition, it's very important to select uh, an ear tip of the proper size according to the size and form of outer ear canal of our patient. After that, the need to uh, put it on a probe tip tightly. Uh, we are positioning the probe with gently rotating moves. Before starting tympanometry registration, we need to enter patient data. Also, if our patient was uh, studied before, we can uh, search it from the base, but we have uh, today the new patient, so we need to insert the patient's data. Uh, when we finished, we put here. And now we can uh, search uh, the side. And the device will start automatically registration of tympanogram. We see here the tympanogram. Also, uh, we can put here plus. Uh, to uh, register the new one tympanogram, for example, with another frequency of probe tone, we can search it here and choose and register another one. And we can see both the uh, second, uh, the second and the first tympanogram here, uh, the thin, uh, the one study. Um, except the morphology of the result tympanogram, the doctor can also uh, see the automatically estimated indices of compliance, pressure peak, volume of outer ear canal, and the gradient of tympanogram. Uh, 
for simplification of interpretation, uh, the template gram, the system, gives us the window of a normative data set uh, for pressure peak and for indices of compliance for frequency of probe tone of uh, 226 hertz. Uh, then we finished uh, the registration of tympanogram. We push here. We can save the results. Also, we can print it via Bluetooth printer when they save it. We also can import the results to the um, computer uh, to see them uh, via near audio screen manager program. To perform uh, the Eustachian tube function of the patient with intact uh, tympanic membrane, we choose the side and push. The device will automatically register the tympanogram on the relaxed patient firstly, and we can see here the pressure of peak of this tympanogram. We see that it's in normal value, 18 decapascal, and then uh, we push uh, this button and ask the patient to pitch the nose, close the mouth, and try to breathe out, then push OK and see the second tympanogram with the peak in 150 decapascal. So the differences between the second and the first peak pressure is 132 decapascal. And then we ask the patient to perform uh, the Toynbee maneuver to pitch the noise and fellow, press OK, and register the third tympanogram with the new peak pressure, they see that the peak goes to the negative indices, um, minus 172 decapascal, and the differences between third and the second peaks is uh, minus uh, 322 decapascal. And so in the normal patient, with the normal eustachian tube function, we need um, the differences between third and the second and the second and the first uh, peak, uh, peak pressure more than 10 decapascals. So after that they can save the results. Also we can print it via Bluetooth printer. After saving we can import the results in the computer uh, via you know, Bluetooth and analyze it in the near audio screen manager program. Uh, audio Smart has a uh, default template uh, to every type of procedure. Uh, to view them, we go to setup and test settings. Before uh, performing Tympanometry, we can go TIMP set and we can see here uh, two kinds of uh, templates for tympanometry and tympanometry according acoustic reflex. Uh, the parameters of uh, registrating uh, using this uh, template uh, can't be uh, changed by doctor. If a doctor wants uh, something to change, he uh, needs to create new template to name it. And then we see that we can change some parameters. For example, I can change the pressure of start. And maybe I want to change the pressure change speed and so on. When we finished the changing of uh, template, we can go to the main menu.